got our hyena and our jaboa wandering around. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole place. It's not huge, but I think it looks freaking awesome. And it really does have kind of like a Mediterranean feel. Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by. I hope that you all are doing well today. I am Yo-Yo Y2K for Crap Fire Gamers and today I am playing Ark Survival Evolved on Ragnarok. Last time we built the really cool Castle of Glass and if you haven't seen that, you should probably go check that out because it's really cool. I had a lot of fun making it and it's one of the cooler things that I've put together. So there will be a link in the description, maybe even a card right now. So go check that out. Take a look for yourself. But today, I worked on an Adobe Villa, and this thing turned out so cool. I'm really excited about this, and I can't wait to show you guys what this thing looks like. I hope that you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like down below. It really helps us out, and we really appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos from us, you can check out some of the links in the description below. You can also head over to our channel page and check out some videos there. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. So, I thought I would change things up. Usually, I kind of intro the build, and then I go off and build it, and then I bring you guys back at the very end, and we look at the finished product. But I think I'm going to switch it around this time, and I'm actually going to show you guys the finished build first. And we'll take a tour through it, check it out, talk about it, and then... After we get done with that, I'll put in like the build clips and I'll do a time lapse so you're not sitting through like an hour of me trying to figure out how to make this thing, putting a ceiling, breaking the ceiling, putting a wall. No, that's not how that goes. So I'll do a time lapse through all that, put some cool music behind it so you can jam out or relax, whatever you want. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this thing to begin with and... Like I said, this thing turned out so cool, and I don't know, I've, <laughs> I've been thinking about this, like, off and on all day at work, just like, oh my gosh, this thing is so cool, can't wait to get home, finish it up, and then show you guys what I've got. So we've got basically an Adobe Villa, I, it, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of, like, Maybe a Mediterranean or maybe even like a Mexican type villa. Um, and actually the idea kind of gener generated, not generated, but it kind of came from, <laughs> of all places, watching House Hunters International on HGTV this weekend, this past weekend with my mom. And there was a couple that were looking for homes in Mexico and one of the houses that they looked at had this really cool kind of like like hall that was in the middle of the house and it was open like it didn't have a roof and it had some columns and there was some different greenery inside that like that little hall and I thought that was just the coolest thing and I got to thinking about that and then I thought oh you know you could have different you know different parts of the building coming off that hall like maybe you've got like your living area coming off on the one side and on the other side you've got like your dino storage and so that's pretty much where my idea originated from and so let's go ahead go inside and take a look at this and so there's the hall that I was talking about <laughs> and this looks so cool um, as you can tell I'm really excited about this so we go in and I'll shut the door behind me in case something comes along and wants to eat my face. So we got palm trees on the sides. We can look straight back into like the little garden area. There's a little pool back there. Um, I got a little green space with some different trees and stuff from the eco mod. The eco trees mod. It's one of my favorite mods. I love decorating with the greenery trees and bushes and different plants. So in here, we've got just kind of a dino storage area. It's not huge or anything. You couldn't fit 
a lot of big dinos in here. It's already kind of crowded with a Gallimimus, an RG, and an Iguanodon. So I can imagine if you had a Carno in here, or if you know you had something else that could fit through the Dino Gate, this would get full pretty quick. So you definitely couldn't fit anything big like a T-Rex in here, but it's not really meant for that. We got a couple trophies on the wall. Got the Megapithecus. We got the Brood Mother as well. There's some stairs. Or, uh, sorry, a ladder where we can go up here. And we can look down into the dino pen. And I have the wooden railings going all the way up to kind of give the illusion of like a fence. So, I don't know, maybe we have an unruly dino in here or something. Kind of protected from it. I guess it can kind of get through the p the pillars here, but so I guess that doesn't hold up. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I thought the railing was cool. I liked it. Um, of course, we got our feeding trough right here for our dinos, so that's pretty cool. And then I just I love how on either side of the hall we've got the pillars, and then we can go in, and like over here is kind of like a living area. We've got a big table here with lots of chairs around, mortar and pestles placed down to kind of look like bowls. Got the uh, alpha sand, I, my mind's on blank, the death worm, alpha death worm over there on the wall. Um, got a couple beer barrels of course. And then got some bedrooms over here so just I just kind of threw these together very simply just to kind of give you the give you the idea, the feel of what I was going for. And I thought this is pretty cool. I use this area under the stairs right here to hide the generator. So the generator is in here, out of the way. We can turn it off, turn it on, and then close the door. So pretty cool over here, just like a little kitchen type area. We can go upstairs. Here is another bedroom, just very simple. We got windows we can look out onto the main hallway through here. Over here we got another table. We got a smithy right here with a chair pulled up so it's kind of like a crafting station. Um, got some more trophies on the wall. Got a rex, got a dragon up on the wall. And then up here, I didn't originally plan to keep this little level here, these ceilings. But if I get rid of these ceilings, then I lose these walls here. And I wanted these walls, we could take a fly around the exterior in a minute. But I wanted to have a flat side here. You had the sloping walls coming down to the straight wall. And then down below us, we have another slope ceiling. And I wanted kind of to break up the slope. Instead of having a long slope, we come down and then we fall before we slope again. And I couldn't keep these these uh, window frames without this floor here. So I kept it and then I actually utilized it. I put another small bedroom, just a single small bed. Still got a couple windows in here. And then up here we got another staircase leading to our last bedroom. So we've got what? This is four bedrooms? So lots of space for your tribe to hang out and call this a home and go down here and then this little this little bridge takes you across the uh, the hallway oh yeah we got a alpha wyvern over there up on the top of the wall and then this goes back into the dino pen so we can come in here take a look down at the dinos through the fence and then we can climb down to the dino pen it's also sneak peek Ah, got a couple windows here to look down to the garden. So we can climb down here. And then my favorite part. Oh, nope. You know what? We gotta go outside first. We can't go there yet. We can't go there yet. We gotta go outside, take a look. So this is just the back deck. Just, just simple. I like having porches on my builds, so that's what this is. And I love this so much that I might come back and add on to this in the future. Maybe I'll add a dock or add water dino storage because we got some space out here where we can we can totally fit in like a dock 
or we can fit in some like water dino like a water dino pen up back here so I might come back and work on that at a future date uh, we got another door right here that takes us back into our kind of the main living space back by the beer barrels and now we can go into my favorite part and the garden I love this so much I thought this came together really well this was one of the main things that I wanted to incorporate in this build I wanted to have like this little garden at the back of the house with this little pool and we've got our otter jumping around trying to get out yeah whatever I was gonna try to pick him up to get him out of there but yeah so this I love this this is so cool we can sit on this bench and have cool cool time back here and the ceilings actually I got that idea from watching one of UTC's older buildings. Um, he did a series a while back where he built kind of a, like a Roman town. And he did a lot of the courtyards where he had like this open area and then he had the slope ceilings going around the sides. And pretty much the key is as long as you build on the left first you can let these ceilings intersect um, otherwise you'll get a collision error but if you put the left one down first and then build from right it usually will let you do that so this is pretty cool I think this turned out really well I'm super excited about this got our hyena and our jaboa wandering around so yeah that's pretty much the whole place it's not huge but I think it looks freaking awesome and it really does have kinda like a Mediterranean feel I like it a lot especially back here I love I love this tree this tree is so cool once again these are from the eco trees mod and that tree that I was just looking at is actually called that's this one it's this acacia tree quite cool. Love having the palms around the edge of the the courtyard and then even in here where we got the palms on the edges. So let's go ahead and hop into RG, take a fly up and around. Again we've got the intersecting sloped ceilings on the dino pin area as well. And I place these palms too to kind of give a little more tropical feel to the outside so we can get a look down into the courtyard from up top and then just the back area so that's the slope that I was telling about we have the double not the double but the the too high slope ceiling going down to the window frames and then down to another slope and I wanted to have that uh, kind of that design so that's why I had to keep the floors in there but it actually worked out and I was able to use those to make something pretty cool going up to a couple stories so it's kind of like a half floor there where that single bedroom is so it turned out pretty cool all in all I think this is a another really cool build and each time I build something I'm like man this is like the best thing that I've built this is so cool and then I build the next thing I'm like oh my gosh this is so cool this might be the best thing I've ever built I don't know the castle of glass that I built last time was super cool I don't know if this tops it or not it's not as grand as the castle of glass but it's still so so very cool so very cool I hope that you guys enjoy it it's definitely been a fun build and I can't wait to do some more stuff with this like I was saying I might go back and build some more on the back back here where we've got some space to maybe build a dock or maybe build like a water pen for some water dinos or something we'll figure something out but we definitely got some space we can utilize this so I think that's pretty much the tour of this place now I'm gonna cut away I guess and then I'll bring you guys back 
and do a time lapse over some of the build. So if you want to see some of that, you can stick around and watch that. If not, if you want to head out now, that's totally fine. I get it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, yeah, I probably won't put an, an outro at the end. So, yeah, hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to leave a like if you did. Again, there will be some links down in the description so you can check out some more stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. All that stuff. Typical jazz. So, alright. Let's get some music going and let's see the build. Thanks, guys.
We'll be right back. 